currently we are en route to go ride mountain bikes over up at Elm Creek uh, Park Reserve. It's a pretty sweet place. Gonna visit my dad while I'm up there in the area. It's a beautiful Sunday. It's 70 and some change degrees. Not humid. Perfect. Get outside if you can. Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. Let's get to it. See, oh my god, yeah, it is packed in here today. Rightfully so, it is beautiful. So I'm not necessarily the biggest uh, helmet advocate or wear, but definitely in the mountain bike trails, you are a damn fool if you're not wearing a helmet. Um, the rest is a topic for another video, but just wanted to put that out there. Definitely wear the mountain bike helmet. And we are off. This is actually the first trail I ever rode for mountain bike trails, so that's pretty sweet. It's always good to be back. But yeah, not gonna record a ton, but actually, yeah. I meant to get a Strava going. <laughs> My phone is very close to dying, so we'll see if that lasts. Cool. Yeah, the first time I ever came here is on like some old, 90s giant mountain bike, no suspension, no gears, and it was fun. Just goes to show, whatever bike you got is the best bike to ride. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, I didn't eat anything before I started, so we'll see how that goes in a few miles. We yeah, very busy out here today. It's cool though. As long as you're respectful, you'll have a good time. But yeah, Home Creek is a very good time for this way. Literally anybody. Um, it's pretty much cross country. Um, so my borderline enduro bike is not the fastest option, but it's kind of fun. And on the gnarly stuff, just eats it up, spits it out. <laughs> um, if anybody's curious, I'm riding a, uh, sorry, um, a specialized stump down for Evo uh, in the expert build. Um, been great it's 160 mils up front 150 in the rear perfect like big mountain or bike park bike um, not the fastest thing for Minnesota but like I said kind of fun <laughs> but yeah the bike loves to jump climbs surprisingly well for what it is uh, traction for days on those climbs can't go wrong all right so we're about five miles in and mountain bike is feeling so good. I haven't been giving her the love she deserves lately, so this is great. Welcome to Grizzland. This is like, I think, technically the black section, if I'm not mistaken. This is tight. Try it again. We're good. Yeah, pretty chill for a black. Everything that is techy, there's like a workaround usually. So, if you're new, I wouldn't be afraid of coming in here. Take it as slow as you need. Hands are just finally starting to sweat over halfway through, so it's pretty good. We'll take it. Yo, got these new drops. These are brand new. Looks super soft. <laughs> Go. That was nice. That's a sick opener for this line, dude. I'm glad they put that in there. Good job, Elm Creek. He's a drop from the bottom. I just set the GoPro up and run it one more time. We're still working on it. small ones doable. So, got it. Big one's not much. <laughs> it's not Big bad. One. Yeah, I got the small one. All right, so the GoPro is getting close to dead, so I'm gonna turn her off. Get to the last little bit I want to film and then get to it. 
All right, the power line jumps. Not suitable for beginner riders. All right. Get the drop first. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a sick little line. So that's about it for Elm Creek. It's pretty much just a chill pedal back to the car. A little more little flowy, kind of jumpy section that throw the GoPro on if she's still got some juice left in her, but we'll see how we're looking there. It's about two miles away. All right, coming up on the last section. This part's called Roller Coaster. It's pretty fun. So that's going to be it at uh, Elm Creek. I need to get some food in me. I'm starving. Then we're going to go hang out with my dad. Not going to film much there, but then we'll see what the rest of the day has in store. Yeah. Let's see. You too. And yeah, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll let you know. I got my phone. Okay, sounds good. I'll keep you posted. Alright, so we're just leaving my dad's place. Um, it has officially been decided we're going up north. I'm gonna go try and capture the northern lights. Apparently it's a very good forecast for it, so we're gonna huck it about three and a half hours up there to uh Bay it's called. It's almost at Lutzen. Um, which is very close to Canada. Um so it's gonna be a long one. Gotta get home, I'm gonna do some editing, sneak a quick nap in. And then we're gonna get to it. I just dropped something. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> all right, so we are gonna start sorting through all of the GoPro footy from this morning, uh, get that ball rolling, and hopefully get this video pushed out as soon as possible and not by midweek. Uh -huh, that's what we're shooting for. Watch out, I'm coming. Peace. We'll catch you guys in a few hours. Fry <laughs> <laughs> got, got, got the big pack. Island fruits. What lenses? I brought my wide and my 24 7 I'm making my, making my YouTube. It's my 14. <laughs> we got the boys. Ooh. We're heading up north. We got Let's Andrew. Go. Sunny. What's up? We at Sunny's restaurant, Fun 99. Yes, sir. Come eat. Fun. Come eat. I brought my uh, we're up. Got the prime in my 2470. It's it going down the earth and moving further south. So when it goes super far down like this, that's it reaching down over like Canada, Minnesota, North Dakota. So as long as this keeps going way down like this, we are good to go. So <laughs> right. Can't see much. We're chasing the lights. We'll put the photos in. It's about 1.30 uh, in the morning, and we're going to the second spot. Oh, what? This thing's pimping. Dude, we got the keys for this? Oh, shit. 
you got the keys for this thing or what? <laughs> That's sick. It looks like someone tried. <laughs> Alright, so in case you couldn't guess, we are at undisclosed location number two. A little abandoned ghost town. Um, let's check. 218, can't see it. Uh, bright and early, super late, however you want to look at it. Um, all I know is I got work at 10 a.m., um, but we're going to make the most of it. So I'm going to go get set up and hopefully get some northern lights here shortly. The forecast is looking good. This thing's sick. Let's go. Yeah, we can maybe find a better spot for it. How does it feel? So we got like a. The bedroom, oh, bathroom, bedroom. That's like a proper bed. You could live here, literally. Oh, cool place. There's literally like probably I don't know ten of these houses or so, and they're all just like vacant. Look like they could be livable with a little more work. I mean the windows are smashed out, but. Uh, but yeah, that's going to just about do it, I think. Uh, everybody's getting tired. We're going to start packing it up soon. Just hang out for a little longer. Photos turned out good. Definitely got some green northern lights going. No crazy shows, no crazy pillars shooting through the sky right above our heads. But got to take what you can get. It's been a fun little day trip, and hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. All that good YouTuber stuff.